Hey guys, LP here in the Gatineau Sports Center with your jump volleyball training tip of the week. I know it's been a while, okay? I've been busy all summer coaching, coaching in a Canadian national B team, getting married, lots of stuff happened in my life, but I am back, okay, for more videos for this season. So we're gonna do videos throughout the fall and throughout the winter. Uh, so more tips, more stuff. So guys, make sure that if you have questions, comments, things you would like to learn about, you make sure you send me an email or you just leave a comment okay, in the comment section below this video. And it will be a pleasure for me to get back to you and to, you know, talk about that thing you wanna learn about in a next video, all right? So in this video, this first video of this next series of videos, uh, we're gonna talk about hitting, okay? So there's one thing that I see a lot in young, young players and especially uh, the players, the young athletes that have not necessarily learned how to throw a ball. And what we'll see is that when they go to hit, okay, at contact point, they'll be in this position right here, okay? So nice and straight, they'll hit the ball here, and often what's gonna happen is after they're hit, the arm's gonna go back, uh, go down on the side of their body, okay? Now, I wanna ask you a question, okay? Imagine you see uh, a baseball pitcher at the moment they release the ball, okay? What does it look like? Does it look like this? Uh-uh, okay? If you look at a baseball pitcher, when they release the ball, they're actually on one foot, okay? They're almost sideways this way, okay, and their hand is nice and high. Now, if I get back up straight, okay, you can see that there's an angle in my arm, okay? My arm is not actually right there over my head, but it's a little bit to the side, okay? And that's one mistake that a lot of players, and especially young girls, do, okay, when they start playing volleyball, is that they do not extend their body, they do not do that abdominal contraction that will help bring the right shoulder on top and the right arm and get their shoulder in that angle where they're very, very strong, okay? Because in that angle, you also come and use some of your pectoral muscles, all right? So one thing you can look at, okay, in your athletes is, do they hit with their arm right there or do they hit really with a nice and high extension, okay, with their body tipped a little bit, okay, and the arm at the highest point as possible? Okay, that's one thing you can look at. And that's something you can work on with your athletes right now, tonight or tomorrow at your next practice, okay? The other thing that this is going to uh, do is, yes, it's gonna allow them to come and hit the ball higher with more power, and it's gonna allow them to really follow through to the other side of their body, okay? And that's gonna prevent some injuries, okay? So when we see hitters hit like this, okay? They're using their arm a lot. They're putting a lot of stress on their shoulder. But if I'm hitting like this, up. Now I'm using my abdominal muscles and I'm using my trunk, my core, and I'm putting a little bit less stress on my shoulder, okay? So that's a tip this week. And uh, before I let you go, I want to show you a little bit of what it looks like in some of our Canadian men's national team players. So just look at these pictures right now that I'm showing, okay? So, and look at how they are and what the position they, like the position they have, okay, at the moment of hitting the ball. You really see that nice extension and you really see that the arm is not just over their head in front of them, all right? So work on that with your hitters, with your, with your players. Look at that, try to notice that, um, that problem and start working on it, okay? Because you know what? We see a lot of players around the world and they are not necessarily the biggest players, but they can hit the ball really hard. And you know why they do it? It's because they have a good mechanic and that's part of a good and efficient hitting mechanic. All right, so check it out, okay? Make sure to, uh, to let me uh, know how it goes. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you next week for another Jump Volleyball Training Tip of the Week. Thank you to the Gatineau Sports Center for letting us use their gyms. If you're in the Gatineau or Ottawa region, make sure to check it out. And guys, also make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get weekly volleyball training tips 